increase can bring pride money can bring pride anointing can bring pride you see i've had the privilege of hosting god's anointing to a measure and i know what the anointing can do the anointing can turn you to become like a god human beings can worship you if necessary it is up to you to not be foolish and rent your garment if need be and say look i know i'm divine but don't forget i'm human my dominion is shared dominion not absolute dominion there are many of us who will not look for honor but when you get it and it's rising beyond the level you know should be you won't stop it it's still seen i know how far god has taken me and when i see human beings about to dehumanize themselves in the name of honoring the grace of god upon my life i must behave myself wisely to say no no you have honored me enough i get the message don't go beyond this and god says i can trust you with more i was at benny Hinn's meeting last week and while i sat down and i was just watching the man of god minister the grace the power the presence i said what level of trust did this man show god that granted him this level of grace with a single word brothers and sisters miracles were happening as though it was a charm rising from wheelchairs as if people as if they said everybody stand up casually and it was not an issue to him all the honor and the glamour there it didn't concern him at all when he got up and took the mic he was you could see his heart crying in the presence of god i said that's it that's a man who has met presidents he does not meet a president a president meets him and calls it a privilege and yet he can kneel down before god and roll like a child please let's learn a lesson tonight there is something about our understanding that is making our prayers look like it is not answered especially for those of us here who have come to receive the impartation you will get it this is not a thing of age this is not a thing of level it's a thing of alignment through knowledge hallelujah i have watched people with little honor and i've seen the way they have misused the grace of God given to them and this is the message God put in my heart to share with us shortly we are going to rise and we are going to be celebrating the hand of God here some of you who are coming here for the first time I'm sure you have followed online you have followed the teachings or you have heard testimonies of what God is doing with the man of God this is the man of God this is all of me so take now that you have seen me take your eyes away and trust the God of heaven to surprise you. This is all. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher. Be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Let my king be Let my king Let my king Let my king be lifted up. Let it be a revelation. Let my king be Not Joshua Selman. Not Koinonia. Not miracles. Not anointing. Oh, you have captured my heart, consumed my heart with your love. That's my testimony tonight. Hey, you have captured my heart, 
as you consume my heart to your life. Sing it from the depth of your heart as a revelation. You have captured my heart, consume my heart with your love. If all I say, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Enough to take away every pain and every demon. But if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Listen to me. The first miracle God is giving you tonight, listen, is the humility to be able to say, Lord, no matter where you take me, no matter what you give me, I remain yours forever. Nothing will ever be able to take your place in my life. Not power, not money, not anointing, not miracles, not influence. Let me tell you, if you can pass this test tonight, then there is no limit to what God can do in your heart. Lift your voice and pray passionately to God. Thank you. Go ahead. Lord, I can't be trustworthy. Go ahead and pray. Walk on my heart. Walk on my tendencies. Walk on my heart. Walk on pride. If all I say, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Pray from the depth of your heart. If all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Let it be your prayer. The miracle is already happening to you. Sing you have captured my heart, consume my heart with your love. It's the secret of the mighty hand of God upon a man. You have and I, if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, not if Joshua Selman, not if Koinonia, thank God for the honor. But if I be lifted up, then I will draw beyond revelation, beyond gimmicks. I will draw all men to myself. I'd like you to pray and cry to God. Father, mercy upon my tendencies. My tendencies with money. My tendencies with pride. I cry. This is the miracle service happening to us already. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the issue of house and sickness. Pray, pray. forget about your business forget about ministry forget about all of these things just focus on yourself Lord make me trustworthy make me trustworthy hallelujah is God speaking to us the next prayer point Lord every idol in my heart listen allow me say it first before you pray do you know what an idol is is something you cannot live without something that assumes the place of God a job can be an idol a wife can be an idol a husband can be an idol a boyfriend a girlfriend an uncle can be an idol the government can be an idol 
revelation can be an idol bible study can be an idol even prayer can be an idol when your attention leaves jesus to prayer idolatry is happening there subtly you are more concerned about the motions than the contact with a real person it's idolatry are we together god wants to bless us i came to pour my heart because i really want god to help us father there are things in my life that it looks like i cannot do without them destroy that tendency in me whoever told you until your account is fat you cannot sleep well who lied to you who made money such an idol there are some of us whether or not you need money once there is nothing in your account you can't sleep Abba. some of us will not be able to sleep because of marriage when will the man come when will the woman come is idolatry i know you need a miracle in that regard god will give it but it's still idolatry lord when will the ministry come when will i start having ushers and peers around and god says i watch your heart idolatry Lord, when will the anointing on apostle come upon my life so that I will also make a name so that this will happen and God says, no way. You must be emptied of yourself. For the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Sing, Lord, I will bow. I will bow to you. To no other God but you, Lord. Lord, I will worship you. Lord, I will worship Nothing hands have made. Nothing hands have made. But you, Lord. I will lay down my idols. Come on, sing with me. And I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow, Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God but you. Blessed is the man that God can find trustworthy. Blessed is the woman. I'm telling you, you have not seen what God can do in your life till he finds you worthy of trust. You have not seen the kind of husband God can give until he finds you trustworthy. You have not seen the kind of wife God can give until he finds you trustworthy you have not seen money you've not seen nothing i'm not talking business you have not seen suffering wealth until god can trust your heart you've not seen influence and anointing you've not seen revelations yet until he can trust your heart we're praying don't mind the time god wants to deal with our life specifically Please pray. Leave the miracles. They will happen in a moment. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Take all of me, Lord. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Take all of me, use all of me, all of me, Lord. 
Anoint my everything Take my everything I release my everything You have everything Say Take all of me All of me Lord. You have my everything Take all of me All of me Lord. You have Take all of me, take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, take all of me, take all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, take all of me, use all of me, Lord, you have my everything. One more prayer and then I'll begin to minister. One last prayer from the depth of your heart. Lord, dethrone everything that is above you in my life. No matter what it is. I dare you to pray that prayer. Dethrone it. Whatever has found its way to rise above you. Dethrone it in my life. The quest for success. The appetite for influence. The pride of life. Vain glory in accomplishments, dethrone it that you be the Lord seated above and alone in a place guarded in my life by your jealousy. Take all of me, take all of me. Take all of me, use all of me. Take all of me. Shalakata prakata sedega de balada balada bo. Shaka kapara kato sada brande gala karya kato siada bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that we have done the first things first, you can now pray and say father now that i've given you my heart let everything that mocks you in my life bow to your name tonight lift your voice and pray everything if it's sickness let it go please pray lord i have come tonight every oppression of darkness let it give way right now Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I'll be ministering will be very fast, very fast. It is very easy for the Holy Spirit to bring healing miracles deliverances to a life that is surrendered the problem is usually our hardness our hardness of heart makes it difficult difficult for god to find expression there are people gathered here under all kinds of strange influences carrying all kinds of devils one word i tell you is enough to set you free provided your heart is open it's not in the motions it's authority authority keep your hands lifted please just keep your hands lifted I'm just acting as the Lord is leading me the anointing of the Spirit is upon my life now now the Lord is asking me to count five at the fifth count please bring all the people under the anointing at the fifth count at the fifth count Jesus I give you praise one Hmm. two my goodness three four get ready now five i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus inside and outside there is a reason why i ask you to bring them out the lord is bringing strange miracles to people right now jesus 
Sile Korea Kata Brende Gede Kola Hasabaria Kata Shagres Kozazia Kata Barakotia Overflow one outside. I see mighty angelic activities there. Shabraketo Salabaria Kata Mambre Eteka de Kosalabar Subrega de Galabala Rabush Shakatos Kabaranda Skata Brakatosia. The authority of the king is in this place. Kalabaro Sadabarakato Shagres. There is an anointing that is coming on these people, this set of people. This is not deliverance. This is a, there is an anointing. There is a kind of wine. There is a kind of oil that I'm seeing that is coming on this specific group of people. It's a strange level of grace and wine. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. My tree on your throne. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep, God. You are mighty on your throne. Please lift your hands. I'm seeing written in the air revelation, the spirit of revelation. I don't know why God is starting this way, but I'm stretching my hands. There are people that are receiving a baptism of the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom at the count of three let it be yours one two three take it is yours the spirit of revelation granted access to the deep things of the spirit access access receive it the gate is open the gate is open in the spirit access 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 to the depths of the spirit I give you eyes that see and ears that hear access to the deep things of the spirit. My tree on your throne. My tree on your throne. My tree on your throne. He is my tree in this place. My tree in this place. My tree in this place. Shake it up, Garapa here. Hallelujah. Now listen. The Lord is bringing deliverance to families. And hear me. This is the sign. I'm seeing people burning physical fire on them. It's like altars on fire. But physical individuals are becoming representatives of it. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands right now. That fire that brings deliverance. At the count of three. In the name of Jesus, I release it all over this place. One, two, three. Let that fire fall right now. Let that fire fall right now. I challenge thrones, dominions, the works of darkness. Hallelujah. I want to pray. There are spirits that are behind the undoing of many families. There are spirits that are behind many infirmities. There are spirits that are behind many predictable patterns. Are you ready for, for total freedom? Not partial freedom that you come back tomorrow. Lift your hands. Now you are ready to shout, Jesus, something is happening in this place. Listen, at the count of three, I want you to shout at the top of your voice. And in the name of Jesus, as you shout at the top of your voice, this family is under strange attack. This family, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare the foundation of evil in this family comes under judgment right now. In the name of Jesus, bring her out. Are you ready to shout? It's not a careless shout. Shout it with your might 
and your heart and you watch what happens to the gates of hell lord i pray that the force is tying down families tying down destinies tying down breakthroughs in this year of signs and wonders i pray that you arise oh god of jeshurun in the shout of your people let there be total deliverance are you ready at the count of three one two three let there be deliverance right now i cause devils i cause spirits i cause enchantments divination operations of witchcraft all the overflows those following online i place a sanction on the works of darkness please lift your hands and pray you are here in this place and all you have seen in your life is closed doors closed doors closed doors i'm about to speak to you by the spirit closed doors the anointing for open doors is about to be released on certain people now lord where are they in the name that is above all names anyone here under the influence of any closed door i stretch my hands now take that grace take that grace for open doors take that grace take that grace take that grace please help them take that grace i open the doors doors of breakthrough doors of breakthrough doors of breakthrough hallelujah the lord wants to end please listen we are flowing very fast for the sake of time listen for when your word comes there are families that are tied with patterns the same thing happens to everybody regardless of what geographic region they are almost graduating they catch you from malpractice then something else happens to someone then something else happened someone wants to get married after introduction there is problem another person has the same thing they are called patterns they are programmed by a covenant but tonight in the name that is above all names i decree and declare get set because fire is about to fall to break all kinds of patterns are you ready now at the count of three i want you to shout that name that is above all names and at the shout of that name every pattern in every family both for you and your loved ones connecting by faith that there be liberty are you ready one two three i break patterns be broken now patterns be broken now ordinances that cause repetition be broken now open up the gates shake it take it take it take it Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up, say, open up the gate? We're making a decree in the realm of the spirit. Open up the door. Will you open up the cage? Open up the cage. The cage. Open up the door. Hallelujah. Goodness. Bring that lady. This lady you are holding. Come. Hold on, don't worry, just keep my house down. As I stood there, I saw a very strange kind of oppression in this lady's family. And if we leave her to sit down there, you will think she's free, but it's not over. In the name of Jesus, I curse the devil that is back of this tragedy. It's time for you to go. This is Koinonia, a place of God's presence and power. And I dislodge every force of darkness. 
be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ forever 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 in the name of Jesus overflow three I just want you to watch your screen just overflow three I want to pray for you the Lord is ministering something to me the overflow in the building there overflow three at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus I see massive angelic activities happening there overflow three are you ready now at the count of three one two three let there be miracles right now let there be breakthroughs breakthroughs supernatural breakthroughs supernatural breakthroughs supernatural breakthroughs supernatural breakthroughs hallelujah hallelujah praise Jesus praise Jesus praise Jesus Stella Stella I'm hearing a name Stella 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 Jalako Siara Kato Sabria Kato Sabara Brandos Calabros Kadabaro Kushi Calabaros Yadabarianos Marotos Siada Labari Hold on I want you to bring the lady that begins to laugh strangely by the spirit now here in this congregation now will you open up the gates open up the doors bring her I want to prophesy because the Lord is saying that he's bringing your family into a season of strange laughter this is the word of the Lord to this lady I don't know what has happened in her family this same grace is falling on certain people right now as I'm speaking this same grace the Lord is opening doors of laughter to their families and many people will find out by the spirit in an uncontrollable way that grace the laughter is not just some sarcasm it is by the spirit in the name of Jesus I release that grace I release that grace I release that grace I release that grace what's your name Stella where are you from I want to pray for you I'm going to pray for everyone but I want to pray for, please hold her back for her Come. I want to pray for you there is witchcraft in your family and I must pray seriously for you I, I hear what I'm saying I'm not a prophet of doom this is a place where God is setting people free that brother holding photos you the young man look at him come hold my hands my dear in the name of Jesus I end the plague of witchcraft right now in your family I command by the spirit of the Lord that everything that does not look like God in your family be uprooted now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to lay hands on you God is anointing you I'm seeing an anointing like oil that is coming upon you and the Lord is saying this anointing is bringing favor not just to you but your family this is what the Lord is saying is bringing you to that realm that dimension of favor that dimension of favor that dimension of favor the Lord is bringing rest to your family that's the word that I'm hearing rest rest to your family rest to your family there is a gentleman as I'm laying hands on this lady I'm seeing light leaving her and is looking for a gentleman somewhere there is a gentleman that this same word is for the anointing of the spirit is coming upon him right now he's inside this auditorium let me have that gentleman now the anointing of the spirit of God is going to come upon a brother as I'm laying hands on this lady is by the spirit rest for you in the name of Jesus rest and I curse the powers of darkness I'm seeing witchcraft in your family let me make contact with him bring him into a point of rest oh God take away hardship from the family 
in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship be gone forever in the name of Jesus Christ your family is going to experience breakthrough in the month of March the month of March is a breakthrough month for your family in the name of the Lord Jesus the Lord is bringing breakthrough for your family by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus I don't know who this woman is madam can I talk to you please come quickly Is this your first time here you've been here I want to pray for you I take away the spirit of death death hold my hands let it leave you in the name of Jesus the spirit of death I curse it by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus the spirit of death no one will bury you you will not bury anyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I'm seeing okay this is the gentleman let me see the photos who is this where is your mom's photo this is what I'm looking for where is she where is she she's in the house where is the house oh, an Ambra State an Ambra State yes sir I want to pray for you okay. so that you will not hear that your mother is survived by you people are you hearing what I'm saying yes I'm want to pray that's why I asked you to come with the people this is this is your mother's mother this is your grandmother this is what the Spirit of God is tell me yes or no yes sir I'm saying this is your grandmother yes sir and the Lord is showing me this photo and he's saying this was your mom yes sir when she was young yes sir is that true yes sir the Lord is bringing is taking away death are you hear what I'm saying yes sir because I'm seeing that the devil wants to attack the life of your mother but the reason why I held this photo is so that I will cancel death completely. Okay, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Forget about your personal desires. God is going to meet that. Okay. What good is your desire if you hear that your mom has just gone like that? Hold these photos. Father, preserve the life of our mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against death. I lay my hands on this photo and I decree and declare that your mother lives strong and active in the name of Jesus Christ strong and active in the name of Jesus strong and active in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an employment letter in the sky this is what I'm seeing yes this is a letter of employment I'm seeing and I'm seeing it fall on I'm seeing a number written nine on it this is nine people nine people that this is happening to right now by the spirit I declare wherever they are nine people inside and outside let the anointing of the spirit touch those people now supernatural employment you cannot explain it it's by the spirit i release the grace to make this happen they are scattered across nine people i'm going to pray generally for jobs but i'm just doing what the lord is showing me in the name of jesus receive it receive it wherever you are receive it regardless of the limitations i decree and i declare it becomes yours right now it becomes yours by the power of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ Stella. my sister's name is Stella. Stella your sister's name okay yes. come let me pray for you I may not be. whatever it is that she's trusting God for and I use you also as a point of contact in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle for you the Lord is taking away shame from her life this is what he's doing he's rolling away shame from her life in the name of Jesus Christ rolling away shame the Lord is bringing speed you know you always hear me prophesy speed but many people just fall for nothing and stand up and they don't believe it speed is real where in such a short time you can do so much I want to pray that grace and I know it's going to come on specific people right now and then we're going to pray for the sick and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel grace there is a grace for speed there is a grace for speed I'm going to pray be careful so that those who start running by the Spirit don't don't interrupt anyone please be careful it doesn't mean you have to do that but I'm seeing that happening to people in a vision that grace is coming and you see them it's like they can't control themselves wherever they are oh God I stretch my hands now the grace for speed take that grace now Kapo Shapaskia Enteleko Satariakata 
grace for speed run like Elijah in the name of Jesus I command speed in your life I program speed in your destiny inside and outside everywhere in the name of Jesus let that grace come upon you let it come upon your career let it come upon your walk of faith speed 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 for your family speed for your career Is the way God restores he restores by bringing speed the same way what you would have done you could not do then he makes you do certain things that you are not supposed to do God is not done that grace is still coming on people this grace for speed I want to pray for the sick but I'm seeing that grace come on people that in one month the hand of God will so be stretched on your life and you will do things that will amaze you i stretch my hands may the right hand of god bring speed speed to people in the name of jesus speed to projects speed to family concerns speed to dreams and visions and goals in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we're going to pray for the sick will be very fast but just allow me do something strange that i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing the angels of the lord capture like an entity like a dark entity and put it on chains and is bringing it out and the lord is saying that this is what has been stopping the breakthrough of many families please listen listen for no man can come into a man's house and spoil that man except he binds the strong man this is what the lord is showing me in the vision and i'm about to pray this to happen now many of you will be surprised it may not concern you but you are standing for your family how many of you know we believe in family here you are not free if your family is not free let me tell you the truth so there's no room for selfishness to say i'm okay if your family is in captivity to sabotage your own success you will have untold battles from your very loved ones if all the brothers of joseph equally had dreams they won't fight themselves but because only one person had a dream the rest fought him the spirit of the living god i'm seeing this entity i'm seeing it again it's, it's recurring like a vision and the lord is asking me to prophesy and as i speak that word i'm seeing like arrows this is not for destruction this is bringing strange breakthrough to families in the name of jesus christ lord i don't know who belongs to this category but inside outside online wherever you are in the name of jesus at the count of three your family is ready to be free right now and god will give you a sign right now one two three i command that freedom i command that liberty now i command that liberty now i command that liberty now from every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment be free now from the north of nigeria to the south the east and the west every locality represented in the name of jesus be free i challenge every power every force i challenge every force every strong man that stands at the gate of every family to make sure there is no going out and there is no coming in he has tied the destiny of women the destiny of men the destiny of women release them now release them now release their destinies now in the name of jesus 
I command every strong man by covenant who has tied any family, let them go now. Many things are happening under this cloud. God is bringing vengeance, vengeance upon the wicked. Hallelujah. Why is there a breakthrough hanging? This is what I'm seeing like a hunger, keeping something like a garment, and then I'm seeing people naked and not clothed by that garment. It's a revelation, it should be yours, but something has kept it in the spirit. Right now, fire, I see fire coming on the hands of people. This is a reception in the realm of the spirit. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Let that anointing release what is yours. Whatever has left heaven and is yet to enter your hand. Let it come into your hands now by the spirit of the living God. Let it come into your hands now by the spirit of the living God. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Open up the gate. Listen, I'm going to pray for the sick now, but I'm led to release a word of prophecy. Any family in trouble now, the Bible says, if you are not in trouble, don't worry. There are families in trouble that only God can set them free. It says, I'm by a prophet. The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where they preserve i want to send a word that will bail families out now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to any family in trouble whether financial trouble whether witchcraft whatever it is in the name of jesus come out of that trouble now come out of that challenge now i send prophecy like a sword into your family Come out of every predicament now. Come out of shame now. Come out of disappointment now. And every spirit that is joining the head of family members together. Quarrel. Brothers hating themselves. Sisters hating themselves. Either because of money or property or whatever it is i silence that devil right now in the name of jesus please be sensitive please be sensitive don't be careless at all be very spiritual the lord is showing me a plane that is taking someone outside this country i'm seeing a plane by the spirit this is what i'm seeing a plane rising and moving rising above buildings rising above fences i don't know if there are people here trusting god for that miracle but i release it now by the spirit of the living god i release it now i release it now i release it now i release it now by the anointing of the holy ghost hallelujah now listen listen very carefully we want to pray for the sick now listen i'll tell you why many people don't receive they don't expect to receive they expect to be prayed for but they don't expect to receive the standard procedure is to just pray for people at random and then those who are healed come out and we take testimonies but because we understand the kind of grace that god has put upon this ministry and we want to take out time to make sure people are touched at least i know that there are thousands of people but it's not too much to be ministered to we don't want anyone to go back 
it's a privilege that God has given us in this territory to carry his healing power and that's why we take out time to minister to people who are going to be very very fast I know that there are many of you who came here sick it's a miracle service it's not joke the testimonies you've been hearing are not stage managed God is about to do it again so I want you to be sensitive so we are going to do it very fast whilst that is happening please how many of you have written your prayer requests now I want to give you a chance for those who have not written your prayer request you will be praying and then you'll be writing it down write your request call your loved ones and tell them God is at work God answers prayers in this place very quickly but those who are trusting God for healing miracles please overflow one two three main auditorium make your way now quickly make your way quickly to the front please quickly let's save time father in the name of jesus let this corporate grace work let there be miracles there are people with real conditions some terminal diseases you are the healer we are only channels for you to reach people and lord we step in your authority let there be miracle signs and wonders right now in the name of jesus god bless you guys we'll be very very fast the worship team will coordinate us please make sure that you are trusting god for miracles write your requests and then afterwards we're going to pray on the request in the name of jesus christ you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing god you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing you are the god Amazing God, Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Amazing, you are the God. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are the God. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God, Amazing God. you are the God of miracles. Amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God. You are the God of miracles. Amazing God. You are the God of wonders. Amazing God. You are the God of miracles. Amazing God. We must tremble out to your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Hey. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything within about you is great. He must tremble at your presence. He must tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve.
But the God of what some wonders I face it of your power Oh Nisha Iyana You have shown me so much mercy Much more than I deserve My eyes have seen My ears have heard The wonders of your grace Creation bow In all of you As we join to give you pray The words you speak don't think around Don't think around ministering in your your place don't worry you can be following the prayers while you stand those still ministering just just go ahead it's time to pray please if you are yet to 
submit your request just wave it and someone will pick it please quickly quickly if you are yet to submit your request why do we do this it's not a ritual brothers and sisters this is a mystery that god has given unto us you have heard of the strange testimonies these are some of the mysteries that happen in every miracle service where everybody's request can find expression here this is a representation of the pain the cry the impossible situation of men and women and i'm kneeling before the lord on behalf of his people to arise and do great things we have seen all kinds of testimonies you heard the testimonies this morning don't sit back there and be wondering will god do it no no you see the grace that answers to these prayers you see is a covenant are we together every man has a covenant with god not grace law no a mystery between you and god like a husband and his wife and god can bless you for the sake of another it's true it's true it's true paul said for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord i want to pray a prayer and he's praying so this is not just some careless fetish thing no no not at all not at all we are people of spiritual intelligence i'm saying this because i want you to release your faith and believe nobody reads anybody's request here it is between you and god as soon as we are done here these requests are gone and they are burnt so next time you are writing requests don't say if i write this what if they read look at there are thousands of requests here who has time to read whatever is written there is a god that answers prayers there is a god that can wipe tears in the name of jesus stretch your hands towards me and i want you to just pray in the spirit Pray.
name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare that over this request my God and my Lord this is a representation of the pain of your people this is a representation of their struggles this is the representation of their difficulties this is the representation of the mountains that stand between them and their joy and their rest and their peace families are almost breaking because of the requests that are tabled here many people are losing their minds and losing their destinies and almost losing the faith lord i pray that you arise like the mighty god that you are visit everyone individually in the name of jesus visit every case individually in the name of jesus visit every individual in the name of jesus visit every family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that every request brought before this altar may my god arise in majesty and turn it to a testimony in the name of jesus christ lord in this year of signs and wonders begin to give your people tokens and signs let them know you have answered their prayers in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus the request you have written here no matter how impossible let this be the last time you will write it let this be the last time you will write it let this be the last time you will write it every human agent who can partner with god to make this request your testimony i call them into your life now whoever must die for this prayer to be answered in the name of jesus that they do not repent may the fire of god bring judgment on them whoever must lose sleep like nebuchadnezzar for this prayer to be answered let it be so for them whoever must have a revelation like abimelech to let you be May God give them that visitation. Whoever must exalt you like Joseph in the name of Jesus, may God bring them to answer this. Whoever must favor you like Hadassah, Esther, may God compel them to do so for you. Lord, for many of these requests let it be by this time tomorrow let it be by this time tomorrow that your people will be rejoicing in glory in the name of jesus christ the same way i stand upon this request it will never rise above any one of you i stand upon it prophetically and i declare that it remains under your feet forever there are situations here that require creative miracles may the god of heaven make it happen there are issues here that require restoration may the king of glory make it happen there are requests here that represent divine connections in the name of jesus may god make it happen whoever fights the answer to this request is fighting god and god will arise in his vengeance and judge them in the name of jesus christ therefore we agree with the saints in heaven and the angels and we call this request done 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 in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen these are the things we engage that bring the results you see 
if the devil tries to escape the prophetic word to you the request is there waiting for him it doesn't it's impossible to come for the miracle service and not expect a miracle the system has been so designed that you must be visited if not by prophecy if not through the worship if not through the prayer if not by direct contact by this covenant practice here it's impossible for you to not experience signs and wonders now i want to pray for you this is the last thing we're going to do here a gentleman once asked me and said why do you say that the prophetic declarations over god's people is the most powerful part of the miracle service because to him it doesn't look like it there are people flying up and down under the anointing and that looks to him more charismatic and the revelations of the word of knowledge and prophecy and i told him i said you see all those things are revelatory they just reveal informations that most likely the person knows but this that is being uttered is creating realities it's not a suggestion son of man can these bones leave he said only down the west then he said prophesy he said i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound he didn't say somebody look for where the bones that means that you did not see the different bones did not mean they were not there they were just waiting for the word that will bring them together the same way you are here your blessing is in one state your breakthrough is in another place prophecy calls them like the bones the bones did not beg they just listened because everything has an ear so i want your heart to be open please believe it with all your heart believe this word in the name of jesus let me pray for you now In the name that is above all names i pray for you right from january that the kind of speed you have never seen in your life may that dimension of speed become your testimony from tonight in the name of jesus christ And they told Saul, he said, on your way going, you will see three men holding two loaves of bread. He said, they will all salute you and two of them will give you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. You know, one of my greatest desire, if you ask me, one of the greatest graces that I desire to come on people in this season is favor. many people think they know what favor is no believe me if you really have favor it will end suffering in your life regardless of the condition there is such a grace that can follow a man like a shadow people are rising as if they charm them to make sure you succeed in the name that is above all names from tonight walk experientially in the favor of God walk experientially in the favor of God walk experientially in the favor of God listen what your strength could not do for you what your education could not do what your experience could not do I compel favor to do it for you God is taking away every reproach and I prophesy it every embargo every reproach on anyone's life and destiny I roll it away now shake it take it take it I roll it away now I roll it away now hear me I don't know who has ignored you or the grace of God upon your life but I put an anointing upon you for recognition and honor 
I prophesy to your life a grace for recognition and honor. Receive it right now. I don't know what has died in your hand. It works for others until it gets to your turn. Right now in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I command that nothing dies in your hands. Nothing fails in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your spiritual life. Many of you, it's been a long time since you had a real encounter. Encounters with angels, encounters of visions. I release that unction for a strange dimension of deep encounters. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Open visions, dreams. Receive it, encounters from scripture. Let it be yours in the name of Jesus. I pray for people whose prayer lives have gone down cold lukewarm you are not bad you just found out that your prayer life is like everything just disappeared you open your Bible you just keep looking at it you can't study in the name of Jesus I found the coals upon that prayer altar it comes back to life now it comes back to life now The spirit that causes men to sleep and slumber. They open their Bibles and sleep on it for hours. Mumble tongues for five minutes. I command that spirit to live your life forever. Let there be fire on your prayer altar. Let there be fire upon your prayer life. I pray for those whose passion for the word has disappeared no studying books no watching videos no spiritual development i declare may that passion be restored tonight every wrong individual in your life that is not adding to your life i take them out of your life now in the name of jesus christ everyone here looking for a job in the name of Jesus you will not get a job that will make you ashamed to say I'm working you will get a job with honor and dignity I pray for those who are students the kind of CGPA you have never seen in the name that is above all names let that become your testimony For those of you who have written exams and except God helps you, the truth is what you wrote is nonsense. Let the mercy of God bring corrections for you. Hallelujah. I still am led to pray for students. There are those here right now who don't even know where their school fees will come from. Truthfully speaking, no accommodation, no school fees no father no mother and some of them out of pressure are already being tempted of the devil to start getting into ways that would destroy them may the mystery that brought ravens for elijah bring your resources in the name of jesus christ two more prayer points and we're done I pray for your family members. I don't know what has made you watch your parents cry. As adult as they are, a situation broke them down till they cried. I declare that an end comes to that shame. An end comes to that embarrassment. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. That by February miracle service, may you be ten times greater than you are now ten times greater than you are now in the name of jesus christ listen i want you this month is almost ending please i want you to pay attention to every teaching we have some dangerous series we're about to start please 
I want you to open up your spirit and listen. These teachings are free for our own edification. If I were you, I would look forward to when this message will be uploaded and I will play it. Even if you are not concentrating, just let it run. Especially the prayer times and you receive it into your spirit. You have to engage the word. God is not a magician. Are we together? I bless you in the name of Jesus. You will not need to tell people you came here. God will arise and surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Now, aside from those under the anointing, please listen carefully. I'm about to make the altar call. Overflow one, two, three. Except for maybe if there are still people who are being prayed for. Please, no distractions. Let me make the altar call. It matters to us that souls are saved. It matters to me. It matters to this ministry. It matters to the God of all flesh that souls are saved. Not only that people are healed, delivered, set free, and transformed. It matters that souls are saved. There are people here right now who are saying, Man of God, I need to make my ways right with Jesus. You may be in here, the main auditorium, overflow one two three please no moving around let's respect the altar call please and please please and please no moving around let's let's listen i'm about to make that altar call wherever you are please i want you to boldly boldly make your way to the front you are you are committing your heart to jesus or you are rededicating your life whether you are inside you're outside wherever you are or some people here may be saying man of god i love jesus but truly i want to rededicate my life at one point i gave my heart to him wherever you are make your way to the front a gentleman is coming god bless you please rise up on your feet and come don't allow anybody look at you let's let's encourage them koinonia stand 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 please stand go ahead i believe there are so many people don't sit back no one will force you but be honest enough and be loving to your destiny by coming here to hand your life to jesus please rush if you are coming let's honor them they are coming let's appreciate them they are still coming there should be many more people please leave your seat quickly overflow three overflow two overflow one those connecting online watch for the prayers and then you pray along with us and you can let our media team know that you have given your life to jesus hallelujah it's the best decision that can ever happen to anybody but because i think maybe because it's not so charismatic and flamboyant people downplay it you can have all the healing all the prosperity and everything in this life without jesus christ not only are you going to hell you will live a life of misery and failure in this life i guarantee you you may have money you may have all of these things but the peace that only comes from knowing jesus the rest he says my yoke is easy and my burden is light come make your way to jesus i want to appreciate all of you please if you're coming join them quickly i'm about to lead them um in the prayer of salvation young old join quickly lift your right hand and please say after me truthfully sincerely you're not just reciting a poem jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god you died for me you gave your life for my sins tonight i have heard your word and I declare that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King, you are my friend. I hand over my life to you and I receive your life in return. Gentlemen, make sure you join in the prayer. We're almost done. Hallelujah. Oh, they were coming from Overflow 3. Say, Jesus, my life is yours today and forever i declare that i am yours forever keep your hands lifted jesus as always i present to you the ones you died for a 33 year old man hung naked on the cross to prove his love for you 
i hope that you're making this decision from the depth of your heart and sincerely so especially for those of you who came late it's not a poem we recite emotionally let this be a decision that is backed up by the responsibility to take the advantage of the grace that will be supplied to live a victorious christian life i declare your sins forgiven in the name of jesus i declare that the power of the flesh is broken over you no matter what your past has been the lord gives you a new beginning in the name of jesus from tonight you subscribe to a life of victory and glory ever forward never backward in the name of jesus you are blessed you are highly favored i declare that the life of god is yours forever in jesus name amen and amen thank you for making this great decision now um i want you to follow there's a gentleman waving his hands all of you will follow him they will lead you and there will be a group of people to just welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details god bless you please follow the gentleman let's honor them honor them koinonia is this the best you can do